One sec, one sec, one sec. So, this is the second match of match day two between Marco Levin and Avengers United. So, two strong teams look uh, with a win each. So, we're looking for a target of what? Marco Levin, captain, Sultan. Uh, we're looking to bat first and we would like to set a target of around 167. So, they've won the toss and they are willing to bat. I think we would try to hit between 160 to 170. If anything goes beyond that, it'll be a bonus for us. Um, looking at the wicket and the duo is less, uh, do you think that it's a lesser score or you...? No, I think we have the bowling units to protect the score and to defend the score, so let's see. Okay, all the best. Thanks. So what, uh, is it a good toss to lose? Uh, yes. <laughs> Basically, you want to bowl first. You want to bowl first? Yes. And what is the target that you had in mind? We will try to reach them between 140 to 150. So, okay, both teams looking in the range of 140 to 150. It should be a very good match. A clash of the titans, I would say. Two strong teams. And let's hope we have a cracker of a match. All the best, guys. Hello and welcome to Tampere Memorial WOS Championship League 2022. You're watching. You're watching this match. Match is going to play between Marco 11 and Avengers United.
outside the off stem. First delivery of the inning. Umpire decision. It's a wide ball. So start with an extra. First run comes for batting side in a shape of extra. Mark or 11 won the toss and elected to bat first. Goal line delivery was that. Batsman got lucky. Ball missed the stumps and goes into the wicket keeper's hand. Vakas Shafi and Mohammed Saad is the uh, are the batsmen at the crease in shape of opening pair. Good fielding, really good fielding in his own follow through. He stopped the ball. The man Irfan Keani, who is doing an attacking over for his team. Avengers United lose the toss, but they are looking like a very confident complete team set so they set a very different kind of fielding here two men outside the 30 yard circle third man and wideish long on sharp point fielder is th inside the 30 yard circle cover extra cover Long gone. They are the fielders who is inside the 30 yard circle. Short, fine leg fielder is standing also in the 30 yard circle. So there is a very big gap. There is no short cover, no Short mid on, no short mid wicket. That's a very huge gap on this area. Unlucky, unlucky man. Vakas Shafi slipped away. So they miss a single here. Muhammad Saad is the man who is taking strike. Wanted to take a single, but unfortunately, Vakas Shafi got slipped there. Once again, Irfan Kayani. This time down the leg, same white ball signal by a state umpire. One more to the total. Kiani once again right arm over the wicket this time want to pull the way but he couldn't make exactly connection between bat and ball after inside edge ball went straight to the short fine leg field uh, short fine legs fielder so they took a couple very safely here Muhammad Saad is open his account with this single first over gone it's Four without loss after one over by Marco 11. Irfan Kiani delivered his first over. Now have to see who will be the next bowler. So the first over complete and it's four runs for Markor.
So we are here at the Royal Sports Club in Ajman. Beautiful two grounds built by Farid and Reis. So we have one of the owners of the duo here, Reis Chaudhary. So what can you offer to the general public, the cricketing public? Maybe the best facility. Uh, what do you think? What, what's special about what holds Royal Sports Club separate to other grounds that are here? There are six other grounds here. Which other? Uh, what would you say is that it stands out in comparison to the other clubs? I build the ground with my experience. Okay. So what we have tried is to give uh, the best facility. Uh, like uh, dressing room, good outfield, good grass turf pitches, and best quality lights, what we have in Ajman right now. And uh, everyone, all the players that have played in this tournament are happy that, you know, even batting spikes are allowed. Normally, most of the grounds, they don't allow that. So that itself is quite a feature. And apart from that, it's quite a, what do you say, good balance between batting and bowling, meaning the bowlers also have something in the match, the batsmen also have something in the match. So, was that something that you had in mind? Yeah, sure, thanks for the um, spikes. Yes, we obviously have it in the mind. So see, if it's a pitch, it should be supporting to both of them. If you have a good bowler in the team, so he should be bowling his good for four overs in a 20 over format. And if you have a good batsman, he'll obviously score 50 or maybe 100, you know. So pitches should be balanced, not like, you know, the bowlers are, are not enjoying. They're just bowling simply two overs and getting smacked for 220, 230 runs. That is not worth it. If you are a good bowler, the pitch should support you. And same goes to the batsman. For example, if you have uh, experience in these grounds, they probably have some slight wet pitch where you know the ballers get their support and probably the total goes up to till 70, 80. So that is not fair with the batsman as well. So this is the main thing what we are working on. And uh, hopefully, in my view, the pitches are now maybe only 70 to 80 percent. So 20% is left to be there. So when, inshallah, that 20% will come, uh, yeah, it's going to be amazing. That's brilliant to hear. As we can see, as we speak, there's a beautiful on-drive, lofted on-drive played by the batsman, and it goes for a four. The Another feature that I've seen here is the pitch is higher than the rest of the ground, and there's a slope towards the boundaries. And that's something that for example and so that's why you play a proper stroke there's every chance of a boundary being scored so yes like you said it's a very good uh, even chance for the batsman and the bowlers also if they hit the deck hard they get very good bounce and there's grass on the wicket which helps spinners the ball stays up and doesn't come onto the bat as nicely if you bowl it in the right areas so, yeah, it's amazing that you all have put all your cricketing moves um, into the working of this ground. Wishing you the very best. So, what I see is within the next one or two months, these grounds will be absolutely packed, which would be good news for you. You've got one of the best ground curators, uh, Sanaul Haq Baba. So how instrumental has he, in, he been for you all in preparing the whole... No, first of all, it's a great thanks that uh, he's working with us. 
he is having experience i don't know like from past 30 30 years and uh, he's uh, one of the biggest name in pakistan when it comes to a curator because coming from karachi stadium to royal sports club is a huge journey yeah so you know what can i say about him uh i think so he's the best curator here right now in uae because i can i can challenge anyone who's playing in icc or sevens the bounce which you're getting here you cannot get there for sure absolutely and uh, everyone knows whoever plays this form of cricket in here in uae they know especially grass turf wickets they can only get in maybe icc or stadium or sevens hardly these three places and these three places for a normal cricketer it's not affordable everyone knows it maybe more uh, professional high level players play over there or maybe a big corporate teams so what we are trying is to give the best feature in a nominal price and uh, everyone can know that it is very competitive in a competitive market. and uh, we have eight grounds here in ajman so we have competition with six grounds so what we have to do is we anything we are doing it's we need to do better or in the best way that's it i mean um, you really took words out of my mouth so basically you give the best features best quality with an affordable price and we talk about the cricket process corporate cricket of course but here we get quality cricket and still it's affordable for everyone to come and play and enjoy uh, even the look of the ground is something which is very different like if you go to without naming any grounds if you go to other grounds it's totally closed and it doesn't give a full look of a club that you see on tv and things like that so this is something um, amazing that you all have done and wishing you all the very best and hope to speak to you in future will you be leaving cricket playing cricket because now you're a businessman no no uh cricket is in my blood so for sure i'll be most probably i'll be playing every day because i love this this is my passion and uh, yeah uh, thank you uh, thank you so much so wishing you the very best and like we said it's royal sports club in ajman the best cricketing facility as it as we know it so back to the cricket markhor 11 versus avengers united club the second the second match of match day 2 in the tamban memorial champions league so the tournament is basically held in the memory of the organizer myself josh in my father's memory so he was also a big aficionado of sports and um, be it any sport football cricket volleyball he was always there that's where i got all my learning of sports from and so this is my homage to him wish you all enjoy the cricket So we have your Prajit from Royal Sarabis the captain of the team that played the previous match So we we'll take his we'll pick his brain for what he thinks about the specialty and this tournament
Meanwhile, it's the next over in the match between Markhor and Avengers United. Markhor is at two overs. Three overs, 26 for no loss. Mohamed Saad is batting on 14 runs from 12 balls. Vakas Shafi is six runs on six balls. Sherry continues bowling the third, third over. Irfan Kayani bowled two overs for 13 runs. Sorry, my bad. Sherry, Sherry is bowling the fourth over and his second over. The first ball of his over is a full pitch ball outside off and Sa Vakas has played it onto the onside towards mid on for a single. Rajit, um, overall, thanks. First of all, thanks for joining the tournament. And beyond that, Saad has cracked a boundary towards deep, fine leg. Um, the tournament and what made you join the tournament in the first place? Actually, to be honest, uh, I was uh, really inspired with uh, the way the tournament was going to happen and especially the way you showed us uh, what are the requirements, I mean, the, what are the things we get in the tournament and how big of a tournament this is. Because uh, I have never played, uh, I've played a lot of cricket in UAE, but I've never played a tournament which is like this, with such good uh, video recording and with commentary and with such good level teams and everything. So that's what inspired me to play in your tournament mainly. Excellent. That's nice to hear and hope we can fulfill all what, what you think that this tournament offers. Meanwhile, uh, Sa Saad takes a hike over mid-wicket and gets two runs. So, maybe people don't know Prajit much or has he known as Bala around the cricketing circles. He's a fellow organizer and he holds many tournaments with cash prize and Video recording, I'm not so sure, but uh, cash prize and big level teams do play in a tournament. So um, it's nice to hear that you know uh, that you've played those tournaments and still that you think that this tournament is something that you might enjoy. In the meantime, uh, how do you think that? Having said that, you know, um, having played the first two matches, is it what you thought it was? I mean, to be honest, the pitch and the grounds are really lovely, to be honest, because uh, I've played a lot in a lot of grounds as well, but a green wicket with such good facilities and the lights and everything is really tremendous, to be honest. And to be honest, you're really maintaining it really well. And um, that's what will mainly inspire teams to come and even play in uh, such good grounds and with such good facilities, with dressing rooms and everything. So I believe that's the main success. Uh, which is absolutely true. So things like video recording and... <coughs> Every other offers that you you can give, it's something that okay, an organizer can give. But the facility itself, the grass wicket and the grass uh, outfield, impeccable, and something that any cricketer would love to play on. But leave leave aside even amateur cricket, even a a division players would love to come and play here. And for sure, we're going to see that also in the near future. Other than that, uh, after today's loss and the previous loss, what do you think is your strategy to come back for the next five games? Uh, actually, we did drop a few players out for this match, but we believe that uh, was one of the weakest things what we did uh, for this game. But we'll make sure that doesn't happen for the next game because we'll have uh, one of our main players, Danuka Chamikara, he'll be coming back into our uh, game for next week. And we've got a uh, few good players as well coming in for our games which next week, uh, which will support us. And that will be the main strategy is what we're going to do. Okay. Do you think that there should be a shaking up of the bowling lineup or the kind of um, lines that you're bowling during the games or and maybe the batting lineup also, maybe a bit of a shake up? Uh, obviously, I think today's uh, both the batting and bowling was uh, like a huge shake up because uh, we did have a uh, stick. We do we do stick to one bowling and one batting as if you know like the way you know how last match Danuka again his name comes up. He uh, opened for us and uh, with the bat and the ball and Ahan as well, and uh, so that was the main plan. So him missing out today was one of the biggest factors which we would have uh, had. So Royal Sarabis, captain, is pretty determined to get back some wins in the next five matches and 
try to make it to the final. So wishing him the very best and his team. Today was just an off day. Every team can have an off day. And hope he comes back stronger along with his team. Thank you. Thank you so much. Thank you. is bowling at pretty good pace and more than that the bounce that he's arriving at using his height is something beautiful to watch um, Marco uh, finding it a little difficult to score off as we speak though Vakas scores a cracking Loft a drive over extra cover for four. 43 for one, Mark Hoare. But fielded well by Saad Ahmed. Sayed Ahmed, sorry. Irfan, 2.5 overs, 22 runs, economy of 7.76. Wajat Akbar is the one on strike now, one of the mainstays of Markhor 11. केप ट्राई किया है मिला नहीं है ताकि सर फर्स्ट बॉल कमिंग अप एंड दैट इज
good boundary what a cracking shot by wajahat lovely shot for four that was a really organizer how do you feel in this tournament like and uh, with the facilities provided and a lot of teams coming in and with such lovely grounds so it makes my job easier to be honest yeah it's difficult uh, so to be honest i do a tournaments in mcc and sevens on the cement gr grounds and uh, i never keep cash prizes because i believe that it spoils the cricket a bit because uh, cricket and when cash prizes come into effect then people can you know the spirit of cricket might be lost but having said that since it's a new ground i had to do something different and i have kept a cash prize even though it's quite nominal so to speak there are tennis ball tournaments which have much more uh, big sums of money so this is not much but yeah to get in teams in it was difficult but once teams have been here and they've started playing everyone's loved it every single bit the grass the outfield the pitch uh, the facilities in general and even the lights the lights are something that is really impressive because um, you don't find dark spots that you see for that you see in other grounds and as we speak wakas after uh, after a knock of 14 runs of 12 balls keeps it up to long off and of 5.4 overs so yeah um, so it was something i had i had to bring teams to the tournament and it's not exactly profitable but i'm happy to see good teams coming and playing here and everyone's really happy to play on these grounds with excellent facilities that project has talked about before and rays had expanded on what how much effort they put into this ground and it's something that is really perfect to see and for example we are going to have like all over all over the ground even to the boundaries so even even to the boundaries so this is something that you know teams as time goes people will see the benefit of this ground and the facilities and it would be much easier for organizers so talking about their rashid yasin 0.4 overs five runs in a wicket and he's going to continue and we've got mohammed wasif the first ball and it was a good shot but no runs over there think the batsman is in a bit of a pressure over there but still 50 runs of 5.5 is a really good score the last ball for the over and oh good bowling over there good ball what a ball by rashid it was a lovely ball to be honest just we had uh, we ourselves would love to play cuz uh, my team as well they were speaking that uh, whatever tournaments here after we are going to play <laughs> to play with you and with this grounds cuz that's the they always say the first impression matters in anything and the first impression myself and my team so obviously we had few changes in today's team as well everyone who have walked out they said no we played in so many grounds skyline sevens whatever it is eagles whatever we've played in bataya this isn't got nothing compared to that cuz this grounds is a newly ground it's a new grounds first of all but we hope you and we hope that you have a huge success doing this grounds with so much of tournaments coming up your way so what do you think so after this what is your next plan for the next tournaments so as it stands like i said about cash prizes for this inaugural tournament i would be keeping it and uh, hopefully we'll have 
very good matches but very good uh, tussles between different teams and more importantly people should enjoy the cricket played here and after this uh, the plans would be to have something different what it is exactly i don't know but it should be something different than what we everyone is playing around now so maybe some different kind of format or different kind of tournament setup i don't know but it's something in the um, you know even i've not thought of it as of now so this tournament will be running for another 7 weeks so by the end of it maybe after 3 4 weeks we'll get to an idea of what the teams want further is it just normal t20 cricket or maybe 25 overs or something different let's see the main idea is even when i do tournaments um, most of the teams that do play with me thank god they do stay with me two or three teams they sometimes want to try out different grounds and generally i believe that i do my best to keep teams with me happy in a cricketing sense and also um in the general organization of the tournaments that i conduct meanwhile as we speak wajat uh, wajat is out with a short over long on and taken safely by irfan kayani wajat is has not been able to make much runs last match also he was out cheaply and today again it's the same story wajat takes eight runs of six balls with a single boundary and a 133 strike rate mohammad wasif another strong one of the pillars of this team for quite some time has been wajat and wasif wasif who had an had a ma- match winning innings last game is still in the middle which is something which is uh, which is something that mark hor would be really happy that he's there joining him in the middle is mujtaba and let's hope we have a decent score for avengers to chase so that it's a uh, interesting match to watch maine check kiya wo team ka jo reply nahi kar rahe So as we talk we have got Mujtaba Bashir coming into bat right now. As we know the new ICC rules is the one taking on the spell but what a tremendous catch the field over there at long on. It was a really good catch over there running into the front grabbing it. So Mujtaba Bashir is going to take on strike <laughs> a short ball and cut that well <laughs> throw back from the deep by forward Muhammad Wasif now will take on the strike. He's got one of three balls and that's another short ball and a good shot. All right over there to the captain. And another short ball and pulled away. So that concludes the over and Marco 11 are 54 for 3 in the end of 7 overs.
It's the first ball of the over and oh a good start for the over as well, what's up? Seven point one. Rashid continuing. Starts off with the dot ball for his over and the second ball coming in. Oh, what a good ball again. But they're going for a single over there. A cheeky run would be saying. So we've got the tournament photographer coming our way and uh, that's almost a wicket over there. It's almost a wicket over there but <laughs> a good ball over there. The tournament photographer is Mr. Roche. He's a part of the Royal Sarabi's team as well. Mochitaba will take on the strike. And oh, that was sweeped away. And just a single over there. A single over there, and that was a thing I didn't look forward to pay, uh, play a big lofted shot. He's trying to rotate singles over here, marker 11. 56 for 3, up to 7.4. Oh, that was another good shot and another cheeky run and and they're going that's a overthrows over there taking a second over there there was an overthrow and marco 11 takes use of it over there 58 for three now after 7.5 moment wasif will take on strike now five runs of eight balls strike rate of 62 and that is gone. Is it so? Is it so? Is it so? What has happened over there? What has happened? The keeper has been asking for a stumping. But the leg guard pie says no, that's not out. But it's quick hands there by the keeper. Real quick hands over there. Real good hands by the keeper. After the end of the starting of the eighth over, Marker 11, 58 for three. Mochitaba Bashir will take on the strike. It's two runs of three balls with a strike rate of 66. Going forward, coming behind. First ball and it's played well for a single. Fifty nine now. Oh, the ball was tossed up, would be saying. Zishan bowling really well over here. Two balls are up for the over so far. So the toss up did. Marker 11 have won the toss and they've chose to bat. And that's the third ball. And oh, it was a really good ball over there. What a ball. Really good ball by Zishan over there. What a great ball. And uh, he sweeps that. And just a single over there by Mochtaba. The keeper will be really annoyed with the, with the previous stumping not being given.
and uh, well played over there and uh, they're going for a single they're again going for a cheeky single over there 8.5 overs and 62.3 62 for 3 mark or 11 last ball the over and uh, good ball and that's a dot ball Fielder puts his body towards the ball and feels it really well over there. 62 for 3. End of 8 overs and the ninth is going to be starting right now. Talking about the scorecard. Waka Shafi 14 of 14 balls with 2 boundaries and a strike rate of 100. He's better for 28 minutes. We've got Mohamed Saad 21 of 16 with 2 boundaries and 1-6. And talking about that, is that going to go for a maybe a one? They're asking for two, and they're asking for two, and they go for the two. Coming back to the scorecard, and then there's Wajahat Akbar, eight runs of six balls with one boundary with a strike rate of 133. Now Mohammad Wasif and Mujtaba Bashir. Mohammad Wasif on nine of 12 with a strike rate currently of 75. And Mujtaba Bashir, four runs of seven balls with a strike rate of 57, and that has been played well. It was a really good shot, but then there was a field over there. Oh, that was nicked. Really good bowling. Really good bowling over there. What a ball by Rashid. This third over going on. 2.3. 11 for 1 now, Rashid. And he bowls that. And is that gone for a boundary? Oh, really good stop by Fawad over there. Really good stop by Fawad over there. And they go only for a single. Really good fielding out there by Fawad. Mujtaba Bashi will take on the strike and there was a loud call for an LB but the umpire has no interest towards it. It's the last ball and he sweeped there really well. That goes for a boundary. What a way to end up the over. And Marco 11, 9 overs up, and they are 69 for 3. And it takes a 10th over up, as we can see, the keeper has been changing sides now. 69 for 3, Marco 11. As we go for the drinks break.
say I'm calling her, don't come to me like this. The point is, even if you're a player, it is still illegal. You should be calling her. So I'm telling the guy, don't ask. Sometimes when we are up. So the match is evenly poised at 70 for 3, 10.1 overs. Zishan is bowling to Mohamed Wasif. Meantime, Mustafa takes a sing takes a single, and it's 71 for three, 10.2 overs. Zishan has bowled 2.2 overs, 10 runs and one wicket, 4.29 per over. Excellent bowling here. Rashid Yasin has given 16 runs of three overs and taken a wicket. Match is very much in the balance. Zishan continuing his excellent bowling here. Facing him is Mujtaba Bashir. At the non-striker end is the mainstay of the batting, Mohamed Wasif. A bye is taken and Wasif comes on to strike. The umpire signals bye. So 72, 72 for 3, 10.3 overs. Over to you, Prajit. Thank you, Josh. Thank you so much. And there was a really good shot over there, and they're going for a single. Josh, do you think Dew will be a really great factor for the second innings? To be fair, both the teams, since they played in a lot of Dew, in fact, all four teams, all eight teams had to experience Dew. In, in the previous week, so they were expecting Dew, and that's why Markhor won the toss and chose to field. That you compared to last week. Uh, as I said, all teams had seen the due factor last week. But uh, there's not much due today, which is a good thing because when due comes in, then it's more of, you know, who's able to hold the ball while the ball's slippery. So which kind of, you know, uh, changes the balance of the match. So when there is as less due as possible, it gives every team a chance. The 11 over 75 for 3 now, Marco 11, and that's a good short ball. And they're going for a single over there by Mujtaba Bashir. 10 runs of 12 balls with 1 4, and the strike rate of 83.33. Mohamed Wasif will take on the strike. Bashir bowling his last over and another single over there. Eleven point two over seventy seven points for three marker eleven now. And that's a really good ball and oh my god, that's gone behind. The fielder misfields it. And Run two, I believe. Rashid coming in again. Oh, that was a really good ball. Really good delivery. Came up all the way. 1.4, 79 for 3, mark 11, and it's a full pitch ball. And it's just a single over there. Mohamed was 14 of 19 balls.
What a good ball. Played in the back foot though. They're going for a single over there. The 12 overs Marco 11, 81 for 3. Zishan. Oh, and that was a really good shot, and that's a huge, massive six by Mohamed Wasif. What a huge shot for a six. A full pitch delivery, just sweeped it. A really good shot for a six.
a full-blooded shot from Wasif. Sorry, Wasim. Saeed Ahmed running all the way from long off towards the center. Caught it into his hands, but it was right on the ropes and went for a six. It was a very good effort in the field from Saeed. If that was a catch, it would have been a blinder. So now Wasif, who's been in the crease, hits another shot for a four, a flat batted shot. Right in the center of long off and long on of Fawad Jalil's bowling. Fawad has bowled five balls, 11 runs, and a key wicket. Mustafa, who doesn't give his wicket away quite cheaply, got bowled. Fawad bowling his sixth ball, and that's a very good chance for a catch. A beautiful dive by Amir in front of him. Again, a stunner missed. It was looped up. Right. Go for it. He did do so. Right. Down to deep square leg. Amir giving all his effort. But unfortunately, he went into his hands bounced and went for a four brilliant effort all round last three balls have had two catch chances but not falling in the favor of avengers next into bowl is sakib so sakib has bowled in 22 matches taken three wickets at the economy of 6.88 off break bowler best two for eighteen starts off with a wide on the offside one should keep in mind that Avengers are bowling with one player short unfortunately but they're giving their best in the field you don't realize that they one shot they're bowling to their fields and keeping Mark Hoare in check 14.2 overs, 107 for 4. As of now, the projected score shows 151, but being the death overs, most likely you're looking at around 15 runs per over. So it's quite possible that maybe 75 runs can be scored here. Well, Avengers come on top, and Avenge Mark Hoare needs to be seen. Bowled outside off, and Wasif caught a no man's land. Neither on the front foot nor the back foot, and just wads his bat, beating him and reaching the keeper's hands. Sakib bowling his next ball, and he bowls Wasif, the danger man here. What a ball! Quite a golden arm by the captain here. It. Because he's the mainstay of Mark Hoare and would have scored really heavily had he stood in for Pacers to come into the field. Next in to bat is Zubair. The score stands at 14.4 overs, 108 for 5. Zubair has played 38 matches on Crick Heroes, 315 r runs, average at 16.58.
Saki bowls it on the off and Zubair takes a single playing into the extra cover, playing into the cover region. So, Mohamed Zubair's profile on Crick Heroes shows as destroyer. He has a good, healthy strike rate of 160, even though his average is 26. So, very well can change the course of this match with the remaining four overs. Sakib has stuck on with spin of Fawad Jalil because he realizes that Pacers at this point of the match would actually be playing it in Marco. So trying to keep in slow bowlers. There's a chance of getting a six of them, but every chance that there can be dot balls and wickets. Fawad balls, a change of pace, and the balls played well. A low full toss played by Zubair, played by Wasim, sorry, into the short cover region, well fielded by Sakib. Fawad bowls a slow ball onto the middle and leg, and Zubair takes a single. Sensible cricket here. Wasim has scored 10 runs of 7 balls and in that 1-6. Mark Hora looking for some fireworks from his end. Sakib does some football. I guess he's a lover of football in appreciation of the Football World Cup that's going on in Qatar. There's a lot of surprising wins in the World Cup. And we hope that the tournament in the WAS Champions League, we have quite a lot of underdogs winning against the better place teams. Fawad bowling his last ball of his over. Just seven runs of it as it stands. Zubair hikes it towards long off. Saeed sweeps it and returns it to the bowler. An excellent over of eight runs considering it's in the death. Sakib continuing his second over. Last over he had ball bowled. One over for four runs and picked the key wicket of Mohamed Wasif. So Sakib, the captain, back into his second over. The match is in the balance. The highest scorer for the Mark have has been Mohamed Wasif, who scored 30 of 28 balls. Next in was Mohamed Saad, who was opening 21 runs of 16 balls. The first ball of Sakib's over is hiked towards long on. Irfan sweeping it up and returning it back to the bowler. Bowled very slowly. Towards the leg, and it's called for a wide. Zubair having a high back lift. Standing in for hitting the sixes. It's a ball bowled on to middle and leg. The sweeper on deep square leg is Amir. Amir throws it, but it doesn't reach in time for the run out. The batsman would really rate late to call in for the second run and they've managed to do so. 119 of 5, 16.2 overs. That's a full toss 
Zubair steps out and makes the ball into a full toss and guides it over deep square leg. So the fielder from Avengers is possibly at a wrong place behind square leg, behind deep square leg, but uh, considering it is off spin, probably in these last overs, he should be standing at deep square leg in front of the wicket. A beautiful flight of slight dew that's there on the ground. So the batsmen take two runs. 16. Sixteen point five overs. Sakit bowling it really short. Zubair swivels onto the off deep square leg for a massive six. Again with the high back lift. The ball is balled. Right into his block hole. But he still manages to hit it out of the park. Saeed again with a tremendous display of fielding. It hit his hand. He took a good jump. Hit his hand and went for a six. Sakib has brought on Sherry for his third over. Sherry was quite expensive for his two overs, giving away 21 runs, taking one wicket and 10.5 runs per over. Will this be in Marco's favor or Avengers' favor? Let's see. That's a beautiful ball. Fielded excellently by Saeed Ahmed. It was hit sweetly towards deep extra cover, but Said covered a lot of ground to limit it to just two runs. Sherry bowling. The second ball of his over. This is the 18th over. Bowled on a good line on middle and leg and keeping it full. Just was a, just was a single towards deep mid wicket, fielded by Sakib. And Sherry trying to bowl it faster, which he doesn't realize that the batsmen are looking for full pitched fast deliveries so that they can just swing the bat in the death overs. The score stands at 147 for 5 at 17.3 overs. Well thought bowling. Kept it at a slower ball. And the keeper is limping away. Looks like he's a bit injured on his knee or his heel. And they take two runs. That was a well bowled delivery. Eleven runs have come off this over, which is proving costly for Avengers here. It was a good ball outside off, but Zubair going hammer and tongs at it. Edges it over short third man for a four. Fifteen runs have come off this over. One ball remains. 
is it a six is it a bowl for sure sherry is going to bowl it at the wickets The ball is played towards long on, between long on and long off. And Irfan sweeps it and sends it back to the bowler, limiting it to a single. 16 valuable runs have come for Markhor. And the score stands at 154 for 5 at 18 overs. The captain of Markhor, Sultan, had predicted, or rather, wished for 150 to 160 target in 20 overs at one point they were 107 for 5 108 for 5 at 14.4 overs and that target was was looking quite bleak but after a blistering knock by Mohamed Zubair 34 of 13 balls 154 has been 154 154 has already been scored and could well be a score of around 180 runs in 20 overs 20 runs above par meanwhile Irfan bowling his first ball of the 19th over Balls a full toss, juicy full toss over middle and leg on middle and leg, and Zubair just guides it over with power, with power towards leg, and going behind deep square leg almost for a six, just inside the boundary for a four. The score stands at 159 for five, 18.1 overs. Irfan has balled it short and Zubair after a blistering innings has fallen with a beautiful catch taken by Saeed Ahmed running all the way from long off right into the 30-yard circle for a well-judged diving catch so to speak. Four overs, Markhor are at 163 for six. Ashraf scores of four. Trying to hit it over mid-wicket, a ball outside off from Mirfan. But top edges it over short third man, running away to the boundary. Mirfan balls it, pushes it into the pitch.
Saqib must feel it. And seeing the hesitation, seeing the misfield, the batsman run for another side. Another shot towards mid wicket, and it goes for a single again. Nineteen overs, one sixty six for six. Mark Hoare posting a very good total here. It's very less, very likely that ten to fifteen runs would come off this, and hence we would be seeing a score of around one eighty runs as a target for the Avengers to come and cross. Ashraf has played 150 matches, has scored 2428 runs at an average of 25. Highest he has played till date is 91 runs. Sherry back into the bowling, bowling the 20th, bowling the 20th over. First ball, flip it over, deep square leg. Mark Hoare are at 173 for 6, 19.2 overs. It's a very stiff target that they're posting here for Avengers. They do have a very good batting lineup too. So it's still not a match that is done. Sakib coming in from mid wicket and trying to hold it at a single. He's successful in doing so. Nineteen point three overs, one seventy four for six. Sherry goes for a slow ball. The ball is high up in the air and it comes in no more no man's land. And two runs run by the batsman. Watchful. Ashraf goes for a hit towards mid wicket after a breezy innings of 16 runs of 8 balls, 1 4, 1 6. Massive 6, in fact. With a leading edge, gets out, giving the catch at point. Sherry gets another wicket, 3.5, 45 runs for 2 wickets. He's bowled at a very expensive runs per over, 11.74 till now. The last, the eighth batsman in is Sultan, the captain. Sherry bowling the last ball of the over. Full and flat. Sultan hits a very good hit towards extra cover, but taken in the second bounce. Off his hand. 
taken by Fawad Jalil diving to his front and the score is 176 for 8 20 overs mark hold 11 Avengers need to chase 177 chase 176 and post 177 we have got a cracking match on hands
between Avengers United and Markhor 11. Markhor posting 176 for 8. And Avengers have started carefully at 3 for 0 in 5 balls of the first over. Afan taking strike. Hitting it towards mid-on for a single. Amir Yasin and Afan have scored four runs in the first over. <laughs> Sarji, match me dhyan do. Abhi Afan ne single liya.
Wasif pulls a snort of a delivery towards the keeper. A swing and a miss from Afan Rauf. Afan starts with a high back lift. A beautiful cover drive, possibly for a four. It's a quick outfield, three fielders in there. Lot of effort from the Marco fielders. Stopping it to us to stopping it for two runs. That was a lashing cover drive through the covers. Beautiful foot movement. Wasif bowling his third ball of the over. Afan deep in his crease and pulls it over deep short square leg for a fine boundary. Quite the stylish player, Afan Rauf. One can say that he has quite a lot of lazy elegance. Wasif steaming in. And he guides it towards deep mid-wicket for two runs again. So it's eight runs of five balls. A steady innings here from Avengers. Correction, it's four balls in the over and eight runs have been scored. Nine runs in fact. Lovely, lovely drive between point and backward point by, Af by Afan. Two runs again. Five balls on this over. And 10 runs have been scored. Quite the expensive over from Wasif here. He's kept the third man for his bowling. And this is considering the pace at what he's bowling at. Afan tries to go for a pull over deep square leg or behind. But whizzes past his shoulder for a dot ball. Amir facing Kush Ahmed. A key bowler of Marco 11 gets quite a lot of zip from his bowling and moves the ball inside and out. Had a very good outing against the Arabian Stallions last match. He's not been successful yet, but as his uh, economical figures suggest, has kept a very tight line. 1.1 overs, four four runs for at 3.43 runs per over. Ahmed plays it towards towards short mid off. Wasif steams in and throws it at the wicket. There was a chance of a run out, but Ahmed manages to get in safely. Afan on strike against Kush Ahmed.
for sure Mark Horan need a wicket here. For putting pressure on Avengers United who have a very deep batting lineup. Afan hits a cracking shot between long on and long off. Absolutely at the pace of knots. Cracker of a shot out of nowhere. Afan continuing his good touch, pulling the ball of Kush Ahmed for a four over deep mid wicket. Kosh Ahmed balls it even shorter, trying to scare the batsman, but Afan equal to it, and for a beautiful maximum deep over deep mid wicket boundary for a six. Avengers United at 30 for no loss after 2.5 overs. Kush Ahmed's over, proving to be very expensive as it stands. Two fours and a six. 15 runs already of it and the last ball yet to be bowled. Again, a single from Afan. He's played it in the air towards long on, just for a single. Three overs are complete, 31 runs for no wickets. Avengers United chasing a target of 177. Wasif digging it into the pitch and a single taken by Amir playing it towards long off.
excellent start by the batsman back to back boundaries considering the last over closer call closer call aggressive call but I'm not interested good appeal everyone was appealing but umpire quite not interested good ball was that lower full toss was that once again appealing umpire is not an interested again that was lower full toss change of pace Markhor 11 won the toss and elected to bat first they scored 176 <laughs> Now came for the batting. They are on 34 without any loss after 3.4 overs only. Flicked away this time straight to the short fine legs fielder. One more to the total. Afan Rauf and Amir Yasin. Bought her opening batsman today. Mohammad Wasif doing his second over. One ball more to go in this over. 35 runs partnership from 23 balls. We are quite good so far. In the Another appeal. But umpire not interested once again one more to the total single to end of the over it this is leg by single four overs gone it's 36 without any loss after four over Amir Yasin been faced eight deliveries and scored five runs on the board and Afan Rauf Faced 16 deliveries and scored 28 runs on the board with the help of three boundaries and a maximum. He lofted the shot to the deep mid wicket area and over to the boundary. Went for six, was that excellent? Six was that. Amir Yasin once again will take strike now this time. Who's gonna ball now? Have to see. Muhammad Wasif was the bowler who delivered last over. Trying to deliver a short pitch boundary and read the pace and length of the ball and pulled away to the deep mid wicket area. Ball went for six. There was quite amazing shot. There was no chance for the fielder to stop the ball. Safwan Harris is the bowler. Right arm fast bowler. 47 matches been played so far. Got 45 wickets. The best spell is 3 for 27. This is his 48 hero. So, second maximum with the bat of Afan Rauf in this inning. Once again, Afan. This time, coming down the ground and smashed away to the wide-dish long on. And ball went for another maximum. Six more back-to-back -back sixes. Of Excellent batting. 18 deliveries he been faced and 40 runs scored on the board. Three maximum and three fours. Excellent batting. And these kind of batting required if they wanna chase easily. 
177 target. This is only a fifth over, and they are on eight without any loss. They still need 129 runs from 94 balls. Coming down the ground once again. This time, outside the off stem, lower delivery was that. Dot ball this time. Excellent, excellent shot. Amazing shot. I would love to see the batting. Smashed another boundary. Hands of one. Getting a little bit expensive in his very first over. Sixteen runs considered so far in this over. Two more deliveries to go, and the danger man still is on strike. He's on forty-four. Good shot, really good shot. Straight to the long mid on fielder. One more to the total, and score moves on fifty-three without any loss after four point five overs, and it would be a last delivery in this over. And one more over remain for the power play after this delivery. They are taking benefit very perfectly for the power play. And trying to <laughs> the sharp pitch ball, but the bounce was not <laughs> Five overs gone, it's 54 without any loss. Avengers United still required 123 runs from 90 deliveries. Wasif back into the attack. Driven away this time. Quick single, very good single here. One more to the total. And uh, a fun Rauf was the batsman. Who was on non strike this time. Going to face Muhammad Wasif. A fun Rauf. Strong appeal and umpire giving him out. Leg before wicket. Here we go. Excellent comeback by the team. Seven. A fun. Playing very aggressively. He gone out. Leg before. And going back to the pavilion after scoring 45 from just 22 deliveries, three maximum and four boundaries been scored by Afan Rauf. Excellent batting. Strike rate was 204.5. 25 minutes stayed at the crease. And his duckout is welcoming him very warmly. With the claps. So, the next man at the crease will take strike. Saeed Ahmed, right handed batsman. He been played 197 matches before. This is his 198th inning. 
even scored 7035 runs his highest score is 177 excellent batting so he's going he's going to face to Muhammad Wasif right arm over the wicket good delivery and excellent fielding really good fielding at the shot cover point shot extra cover point actually Said Ahmed opened his account on a very first delivery Fielder got fumbled. There was a little bit chance to run out. But the man pointed at the short third man area. Was got fumbled a little bit. They got a very quick single in between wicket. Ahmad Vasif. This time, change of pace and stop the ball in his own follow through. They are defending 177 runs and they got very important, very crucial wicket at the right time because Safan, Afan, Rauf was going to be very dangerous. He scored 45 runs on the board with the help of four boundaries and three sixes from only 22 deliveries. And I thought at, th at that occasion if this man would play the next four or five hours more, he would concede, he would score century on the board for himself. But unfortunately, he got LBW. But what an excellent comeback by Mark Horst Baller. <coughs> Thompson Memorial was Champions League 2022. Happening here in Royal Cricket Club, Ajman. The match is playing between Markhor 11 and Avengers United. Markhor 11 won the toss and elected to. United r racing to chase the target. They are on fifty eight for one after first six overs. Power play finished here. After power play, the first ball is we are watching as a lofted shot straight to the long ons fielder. One more add to the total this time. Amir Yasin will take strike. A little bit full toss was that. Offside the off stump. He doesn't make any connection between bat and ball. And ball went into the safe hand. The man behind the glove, behind the stumps with the gloves. The wicket keeper kept the ball very safely. This time, full toss delivery was there. No doubt that was a wideish delivery, but use the front foot and kill it. Now, over to the extra covers fielder. Six runs. This is very first six for Amir Yasin in this inning. His own score on the board goes to 40. 
from 13 balls after getting a six here. Slow one delivery was that. Suddenly, change of pace. Uh, we saw here. Clever piece of bowling here. Good comeback by Sultan Sadat. Another slow one delivery. Lower full toss was that. He could not understand the pace of the ball, length of the ball, and wanted to lock Gons fielder, but could not make any connection between bat and ball and thrown his wicket away, balled it, and going back to his pavilion. What an excellent balling. What an excellent, what a lovely ball was that. The man, Sultan Sadat, after considering a six, what a great comeback. Now the team, Markor 11, is back in the match. They need to put some more pressure on this occasion on the batting side. If now they want to keep the match still in their hand. But if I'm talking about the batsmen of Avengers United, they... So they really need a big partnership here. They have to score around 70 or 80 runs partnership for this wicket only. So that's the only way they can win the match. They have to rotate the strikes. Whenever they got loose delivery, they have to put some boundaries on that balls, on that on those balls actually. So. That would be better for them. They suddenly lost their two wickets. Very lovely drive to the long offs fielder. One more to the total. And seven overs gone. It's 66 for two. Avengers United required 1-1-1 one, one, one runs in 78 balls. Wasim Ahmed will take charge now. Right arm medium bowler. Good delivery. Good start. Lovely start here. One thirty six matches he played before this inning. This is his one thirty seventh inning. Low delivery was there, away from the stumps, so wanted to loft it short over to the extra cover area, but couldn't make connection very well this time. Even he couldn't understand the depth of the ball this time. <laughs> kept his eyes on the ball and flicked away over to the deep fine leg area. Ball went for four after some bounce. John Zub is the man who was facing this delivery, the new man at the crease. Actually, they both are new at the crease. They just considered five runs from four balls as partnership here. And they both runs considered get by the new batter. Here we go. Wasim Ahmed. Once again, good delivery and played a late cut, but they appointed a third slip. And he stopped the ball very well. 
dot ball this time after conceding a boundary he coming back very well good ball really good ball was that he given only four runs from his very first five deliveries catch was the call ball was in the ear three the call but I have to satisfy for a couple here they took two runs on the last delivery of the eighth ball eight overs gone it's 72 for two avengers united still lead 107 runs and 72 balls and eight wickets in their duckout so have to see how they are going to chase this target they actually need some rotation of strikes and whenever they got loose deliveries they have to take some boundaries on those balls so that would be okay for them but mo the very important thing is they need a big partnership here for this wicket only for the third wicket only good shot really good shot but straight to the fielder no chance to take any single here dot delivery start with the dot delivery by Sultan Sadat in this over Saeed Ahmed the man who is on strike five deliveries been faced in this inning and scored three runs on the board this time good delivery but down the legs and white ball signal by the state umpire one more to the total score moves on 73 for two after 8.1 over Sultan Sadat he got the danger man in his last over straight to the deep long on field deep long off the fielder easy single was there and they're rotating the strike is a good idea here they need these kind of batting down the ground this time and lofted shot to the over to the extra covers fielder excellent shot ball went for six this time seven runs in 69 ball this time Fielder got fumble, misfield here, and ball went for four. Another excellent shot, and this time gets a boundary. Ten runs, back to back, two deliveries. He concede. Now he have to save his two deliveries, very next two deliveries, because he already got so expensive in this over. And the man joins up. This time, uses the fit coming down the ground and flaked away to the deep square leg area. Fielder was there, but they completed their single very easily as they are walking in the crease. One more to the total and good comeback by the baller Sultan after giving six and four from the fourth and third and fourth delivery. Excellent, excellent piece of batting here this time. Said was the batsman. Have to see the decision of the umpire. Strong appeal, but umpire is not interested. Given him not out. They completed their second run very quickly. Said was the batsman who was in the danger end. But he got a lucky second run here. So nine overs gone. It's 87 for 2. Avengers United still need 90 runs from 66 balls. Their current run rate is 9.67 and required run rate is 
they are quite chasing their required run rate but they have to maintain this run rate as they are maintaining so far here is the bowler for this over There was flighted delivery, but got a little bit full toss and lofted shot he played over to the extra cover. What an excellent start. The Jones up gets a third six in his inning and two fours. He faced only 11 balls and 24 runs considered on 24 runs scored on the board. Wasim Ahmed is the man. Who is taking charge from the bowling side? Now they are making some changes in the fielding, maybe because this is the third boundary from last five or six balls in the same area. So they have to think about it. They don't have a fielder in the extra cover position outside the 30 yard circle. So maybe they required any fielder over there. But they still don't think about it. They're still giving him a gap outside the 30 yard circle in the extra cover area. That region is totally empty. They placed a covers fielder outside the 30 yard circle, deep long off fielder, deep long on fielder deep mid wicket fielder and deep square like fielder outside the 30 yard circle and short fine like fielder is inside the circle short third man one slip and extra cover fielder is in the 30 yard circle this is the fielding setup from the mark horse captain dot delivery this time Good delivery after giving a six here. After six, they got a single, then dot delivery. But this time, white ball signal by the state umpire down the leg stem ball was there, missing the leg stems, and into the safe hand. The man behind the stumps with the gloves, ball it. Excellent comeback by the bowler Wasim Ahmed gets a wicket here. What a ball! Said walking back to the pavilion. He's not scored a big score on the board for himself. So 95 runs, three wickets gone after 9.4 overs. Avengers United still required 82 runs from 62 deliveries. This is not so difficult. But if they continuously throwing wickets like these, so they will be go gonna face a big trouble here. As I told before, they need only a partnership here. No need to smash, no need to go for a smash the shot on every delivery. They just need to rotation of strikes just whenever they got a uh, low delivery just smashed for a boundary that time otherwise they are good if they they would rotate the strike they need only one partnership who will give them a partnership around 50 or 60 runs if this wicket will stay for 50 or 60 runs partnership here, maybe they will win the match easily. 
Fawad Jalil is the new man at the crease who replaced to Saeed Ahmed and the man Wasim Ahmed will continue. In the air, fielder is under the ball, but two fielder was there and looking for each other. Who's gonna take the catch? And ball in the landing area. They took a very safe couple here. Fielder's body language was not showing that he gonna take the catch. It would be a last delivery in this over. Uses the back foot. And they, they are facing a little bit confusion. Yes, no, yes, no. But finally, they decided to go for a run. So single to end of the over. 10 overs gone. It's 98 for 3. They still need 79 runs from 60 balls. That's not a big issue with the required run rate because they are on... 9.80 grunt rate, uh, grunt run rate, and they only need 7.90 as uh, required run rate. So <laughs> dealing with the good grunt run rate, they just need to stay on the wicket, stay on the crease, and need a partnership for this wicket. But if I'm talking about the bowling side. They are suddenly go, uh, get some wickets here, so they need to put pressure on the batting side. This is the good and right occasion to put more pressure on the batting side. They have some, they have to find some weak point of the batsman, the both batsmen. They just need to place the fielders lineup according to their bowling lineup. So that would be better for them. It's time to take a short break of water. camera the matches and the balance Avengers United 99 for three in 10.1 overs a good solid partnership in the between in the middle is required 
for Avengers to take this game home. In the meantime, Markor, Markor need to get a wicket and wicket it is. Wajahat Akbar with a ball bowled into the middle. Sharp, sharply, and Junzeb still going for the shot. Has an edge and goes into the hands of the captain of Markhor, Sultan Sadat. He manages to go, goes towards his left and takes it nicely. Shariar now into the middle. Next batsman in, Sherry. Sherry has played 39 matches, 730 runs at an average of 27.04, highest of 102. Wajat Akbar bowling off breaks. Bowled into the pitch. Sheriar glides it down to backward point. No run. Wajat Akbar, one of the main pillars of Marco 11. 263 matches, 212 wickets. Economy 8.49, 6 for 18. Best figure, 6 for 18. So, Sherry glides it down through point between Mujtaba and Zubair for a well-deserved boundary for Avengers, keeping the scoring rate ticking, not getting bogged down with the wicket that has fallen this over. Wajahat coming to bowler's fifth ball. Again, a similar shot, but slightly in front. Swept by the man at cover for a single. Wajahat making a slight change in the field, calling Saad from deep backward square leg to deep square leg. Sensibly played by Fawad Jalil for a single towards Cow Corner. A tidy over from Wajat with a wicket and seven runs of it. Avengers stand at 105 for four wickets after the close of 11 overs. 72 runs required after this over from nine overs at a run rate of eight runs per over. Wasim Ahmed comes back into the attack. His earlier figures were two overs for 17 for one wicket. He's given a single towards cover. And Fawad, who was on strike, gives back the strike to Sherry. Sherry, also known as Sheriar. A looped up delivery on off 
sensibly played by Shahriyar towards Sultan and no runs are scored of it. Rasim with a loop delivery shortish and a single taken by Fawad. Looking at the run worm, Avengers are much ahead of Markhor at this stage. Markhor were 75 runs of 11 overs, whereas Markhor, whereas uh, Avengers are at 108. So around 30 runs ahead and on par. 11.4 overs, 108 runs scored and 4 wickets lost by Avengers. A misfield by Sultan going right through his leg for a single that wasn't there in the first place. The fielder at long off, Mohamed Wasif, sweeping well and stopping the sure boundary for a single. Avengers have been a little lethargic in running the singles and doubles. Every single run will come in handy at the end. Shafawad hits a six, looped up right under his bat, and he makes no mistake to take the maximum of the freebie that came his way. Six runs, and... After 12 overs, 115 for 4, Avengers United. Shari is back on strike. This over will be done by Wajahat Akbar with his off breaks. Got a crucial wicket last week, last over. That of Junzeb Aisar. Junzeb was going quite well. And gave a wicket to Wajat. Wajat bowling around the stump into the paths of Sherry, making him to go for a shot because Marco realized they need a wicket at this point. Otherwise, the game can flow away from them. They, Sherry instead gives an easy catch to point taken by Mojtapa. And Wajat again with a, a crucial breakthrough here. Putting breaks on the Avengers score. Irfan Kayani is the next batsman in. Stocky figure. Can surely hit them sixes. The match has taken quite a turn. It should be noted that Avengers United are unfortunately playing with 10 players. Hence, three wickets, four wickets from now, the game would be done and dusted. Pavad is there in the middle. He will be playing a sheet anchor role with timely fours and sixes. His presence is required for calm in the middle. Irfan needs to rein in his attacking prowess.
and just keep on taking strike. Wajad bowling around the around the stumps. Missed by Irfan. Irfan plays this time though towards leg. A slight flick towards deep square leg. Fielded by Saad. Back into the hands of the keeper and Wajad wipes the ball. The dew has started to fall 30 minutes back and the bowlers are keeping it in check with towels. Fawad misses a ball outside off but it's called a wide by umpire Farooq Nazir. The leg umpire is Gulam Mustafa. Fawad sensibly plays it down leg towards short fine leg. Wakaz fielding there. It was a tight single but Irfan reaching comfortably with his long strides. A very short ball by Wajad, but the line being very tight. It's just for a single play towards cover. Thirty overs, 119 for 5. Avengers United, 59, 57 runs, sorry, 58 runs behind the target. 7 overs, 58 approximately 8.5 per over this match can go anyway a late flourish like how Mark Hors co reached the total would not be possible by Avengers as they've lost key wickets in the first five so they'll have to balance it out and keep at the rate every single over Otherwise, it would be really tough for them to have a late flourish, like I said. Wasim back into the attack with his loopy deliveries. Missed fielded by Mujtaba and that's capitalized by Fawad, who's taken a quick single. Good alertness from both the batsmen. Mujtaba giving one run the opposition. That's it. Way up in the air and Wajahat takes a brilliant catch. It was way up in the air. Fawad needed to play longer but he took the pressure and gave his wicket away. Needed by Avengers to stay in. Well taken by Wajahat. Avengers United 120 for 6, reeling quite a bit. The runs are st run rate is still in check, but the wickets have fallen at a brisk pace. Every over has given a wicket each. They need to stop this flurry of wickets that are going against them.
Mirza Saqib Habib is the new man at the crease who will take strike now. Dot ball once again. Wasim Ahmed is the man who took the wicket on the second last delivery before this delivery actually. This time swept away. Ball is very close to the boundary. Yes, ball went for four this time. Excellent shot. He played a sweep and flicks combo here. And ball went for four. Good shot. So open his account with this boundary by Mirza Saqib Habib. Good shot, really good shot. But excellent fielding from the deep long off fielder. One more to the total. Irfan Kiani and Mirza Saqib, the both are new batsmen at the crease. Look at the required runs. Avengers need 50 more runs from 37 balls. They have their current run rate quite amazing. Fielder got fumbled there. And they get a single, wanted to come for a second run. And yes, they completed his second run very fastly. And the man, <laughs> Mirza Saqib, left the bat on the non-striker end while he's going for the second run. But they took a very quick couple here. Just need these kind of batting here. Just need a rotation of strike here. And... One or two deliveries you surely will get who was the uh, who will the loose delivery and you just wait for that and hit for boundary or a maximum. Otherwise you just need to take rotation of strike on every ball. Maybe sometime for one ball, sometime for single, sometime for double. Just need forty eight runs from thirty six balls. Vajahad Akbar, I think the new bowler, wanted to play a lofted shot this time by Irfan Kiani, but completely missed the ball, and ball went into the safe hands. Dot delivery, 35 balls and 48 runs required. Batsman want to change his shoes during the match. You have to note the time of the match actually. Umpire is discussing something over there. Wajahad is so good so far in this inning. He delivered 2.1 over, given only 11 runs, and take two wickets so far. So that would be a very amazing if he will give only under 10 over, under 5 overs actually. He still have one more over 
for his spell. It's a 15th over, 129 for 6 runs on the board by Avengers. They still lead 48 runs from 35 balls. Their current run rate is quite amazing, quite enough. 9.11 and they need 8.23 runs per over now. From now actually. But the issue is they are continuously throwing their wicket. They need a partnership here now. Just 48 runs required from 35 balls. They only have 4 wickets now in their dugout. Have to be very careful because they are chasing the target. So while you are chasing the target, all on, uh, on these kind of occasion actually you have to switch the strike on every delivery. Sometimes for singles, sometimes for doubles. Whenever you got a delivery like loose, so you have to loft or punish that delivery. One more to the total score moves on. 130 for 6 after 14.2 hours. Now Mr. Saqib Habib will take strike. Wajahad Akbar is the bowler for his third delivery. Too much wide dish delivery was that. And umpire decision, it's a fairly wide ball. So extra. Extras are not allowed here. If you want to defend your total, you have to be very careful from the extras. This time, good delivery. Dot delivery was that. Once again, this time swept away. No chance for any kind of fielder there. He switched the bat and played an outstanding, lovely shot. The fielder who was standing to the deep square like area only can watch the ball. But he couldn't able to stop the ball. Once again, Vajahat. One more to the total. Score moves on 137 for 6 after 136 for 6 after 14.5 overs. And it should be a last delivery of 15th over. After this over, they will only remain 5 overs. Slower delivery was that, waited for that delivery and played a punching shot. Midfield here and they get another runs. This is called presence of mind here. They saw fielder is relaxed. They took a second run here very fastly. So 15 overs gone, it's 138 for 6. Now, Avengers United need 39 runs from 30 balls. Things are under control. Now, they just need to play these kind of shots regularly. Wanted to, whenever they will go for a big shot, I think that would be not good for them. Just need to rotation of strike here and just focus on the loose delivery and punish that delivery otherwise rotation of strike is a very good option for them they need a match finishing partnership here because the required run rate is under control now required run rate is on 7.80 it's around 8 runs per over and their current run rate is still on 
9.20. But they need to score nine runs at least in every over. If they got five singles and a boundary in every over, that would be okay for them. Not only okay for them, but that was very good for them. Khush Ahmed Deen back into the attack. He'd been delivered two overs, given only 20 runs. No wicket taken so far. So pace is back now. Good shot to the cover area. Fielder was there. They only get a single here very easily, like they are walking in the crease. As I was talking about, they need rotation of strike. So they are doing the same things. Push Ahmed. This time slightly pushed to the third man area, but have to satisfy for a single. One more to the total. Score moves on 140 for six after 15.2 over 37 more runs required from 28 balls. Thirty-eight needed from twenty-eight balls. Baller is riding for the third ball for his third over. Good ball, really good ball. And he stopped the ball in his own follow-through. This time dot delivery. Mirza Sakib Habib is on strike. With the help of 1-4, he scored nine runs on the board from eight deliveries. And Irfan Kiani scored eight runs from the nine balls without any boundary. This time, played a lofted shot, but straight to the fielder. Have to satisfy it with a single here. One more to the total. So they are continuously busy to rotating the strike. That was a very good delivery. Very good thinking, actually. They know things are under control. This time, strong appeal. Umpire is not interested. He said no on the right time. They get a single leg by signal by the state umpire. I think this is the last delivery. Again, played a lofted shot. Straight to the deep long off the fielder. One more to the total. Single to end of the over. 16 over run. It's 143 for six. Now, they need 34 more runs from 24 balls. Markhor 11 versus Avengers United. Markhor 11 won the toss and elected to bat first. And they scored 176 after 20 overs. Now they are busy to defending the total. And Avengers United is on 143 for 6 after 16 overs. Avengers now need 34 more runs from 24 balls. And with Jahad Akbar back to, to the attack, it would be his last over for his spell, actually. This time, connected very well, but straight to the fielder. Misfield here, and ball went for four. He tried hard, but unfortunately, can't able to stop the ball. Let's have a look. Good delivery was that, but he swept away straight to the deep square leg areas fielder, but he failed to stop the ball. 
and ball went for four. So first boundary comes up after so long time. This is a good sign for him, for them. Avengers actually, they are now on 147 for six. Baller got a little bit fumble there. Once again, coming for the ball. And again, wanted to play a sweep shot because there is a big gap in this area. Actually, they are having a short point fielder and one deep square fielder. So he wants to smash the ball over to the short point fine leg fielder this time straight to the fielder and great catch excellent catch this time the man who is standing on the co car position co corner position he doesn't make any kind of mistake this time grab the ball and party is on let's have a look He played a lofted shot this time, but straight to the fielder. He controlled on himself and very safely take a catch. So another wicket fall down here. It's a Sakib Habib going back to the pavilion after scoring 15 runs from. 13 deliveries. He scored two boundaries and no six. Vaseem Ahmed was the fielder who took the catch. Look at the ball once again. Into the safe hand. Once again, Vajahad Akbar. Vajahad Akbar gets a third wicket here. White ball signal by state umpire. Zishan Azam is the new man at the crease. Once again, going to face Vajahat. And, oh. <laughs> he wanted to stop the non-striker batsman before ball. He want to leave the crease. Played a defensive shot this time, just for a single. And open his account on a very first delivery. 149 for 7 after six, 16.4 overs. They still need 28 runs from 20 balls. Wanted to play a lofted shot but couldn't make a good connection between bat and ball. So ball Goes straight to the Vaseem Ahmed. One more to the total this time. Zishan Azam will take strike. And played a late cut here. Excellent and lovely late cut. But Sherry was the fielder who stopped the ball before the boundary line. Good fielding, really good fielding from the Sherry. But he can't stop to take them two runs here. So 17 overs gone. It's 151 for seven. Now they just need 26 runs from 18 balls. Things are still under control in Avengers, but they are continuously throwing their wickets 
that's not a good sign for them twenty six runs from eighteen balls ball it excellent excellent delivery Khush Ahmed captain bring him back for his last over let's have a look inside edge and gone the last man goes out zishan azam two from three rashid yasin is the new man at the crease who replaced azam good ball really good ball this time pace is back into the attack they gets another wicket now team avengers in a trouble now because they just two wickets remaining in their duck out and they still need 26 runs from 16 balls and pace is back into the attack Match is so close now. They are very close to the victory, and suddenly they are throwing their wickets regularly, continuously, without stopping. Khush Ahmed Din making some changes in the fielding. Good ball, really good ball this time. Wanted to play a lofted shot over to the deep long off fielder but ball was very quick so he couldn't make any he couldn't able to make any connection between bat and ball ball goes into the safe hands behind the stumps with the gloves this time outside edge and ball went for four lucky four runs here no matter how runs came but the matter runs are coming much needed boundary on this occasion and the man rashid yasin open his account with this four now they require 22 runs from 14 balls they need one or two more boundary in this over at least 10 runs they need to score in this over but khush ahmed din what an excellent delivery the previous delivery this should be a last legal delivery of his spell and also for 18th over Here we go. Good delivery. Played a lofted shot straight to the deep long offs fielder. And they are completing one run very easily. 18 overs gone. It's 156 for 8. Now, Team Avengers need 21 runs from 12 balls. So, 10 or 11 runs much needed in this over. They have to score minimum 11 runs in this over. But they, I think, still save their pacers. So, Muhammad Wasif is back into the attack.
21 from 12 balls. So the match has completely tilted in the favor of Mark Hoare Levin. 156 for 8, the last wicket, 21 runs of 12 balls. Rashid Yasin is facing. The bowling of Mohamed Wasif. He's been exceptional today. Three overs, 18 runs and one wicket at the economy of six runs per over. It doesn't matter how the runs come. Lots of caps. If they run, if they run the singles and the doubles well, it's still in their favor. Well played towards point. And luckily, they've somehow escaped. A run out here. Rashid was ball watching the ball at point, whereas Irfan, rightly so, had gone to the danger end. So it's 20 runs of 11 balls. One boundary of the next two, three deliveries is important for the match to come into Avengers' favor. Wasif had bowled a slow ball earlier. This is a fast-paced ball. This is on his legs, right in the block hole, and a leg by has been given. Nineteen runs required of. 10 balls for sure Wasif would be aiming this ball right onto the stumps in the block hole and that's a good shot by Rashid and the ball dies on the ball dies on Sultan and the catch is not taken Irfan denies Rashid the single the second run rightly so because he's the hitter amongst the two Irfan misses and it's a single. Seventeen runs required of eight balls. Wasif pulling it sweet and brilliant fielding by Zubair there at short third man. Sixteen runs of seven balls now required. Seven balls remaining. A single taken by Irfan, sensibly so. Last over requires. Touch Karo, interference, Harjaga.
15 runs required of the last six balls. Irfan will take strike. Options with the captain is Safwan Haris, who has gone for one, one over, 18 runs. Sultan, the captain himself, two overs, 23 runs. Probably the captain, Sultan, who has been decent in the previous game, would be coming for the last over. Yes, indeed, he's coming to the bowling run-up. Sultan will be looking to bowl it right into the block hole and, and on the offside. Irfan just needs to get two shots in and it can surely serve, swerve back into their favour. As of now, Marco on, on course for a win here. A helicopter shot onto the leg side thrown by Z Wasim towards Sultan Rashid being egged by his teammates to get 14 runs of 5 balls still possible you never know and that's a miss he slipped again there it's important for the players to know that since batting spikes are allowed, they should wear batting spikes while playing. That gives stability to their frame and they can score off. Last four balls, 14 runs required by Markhor, sorry, Avengers to win this against Markhor. Right in the block hole again, just a single. 13 runs required of three balls. Irfan not able to get out, get any shot till now. And that's a six. That's a six. Wasif came ahead for the catch and let in on a six. Wasif has come back into the field and Kushamadeen is going right on the boundary, utilizing his height and that's why he's been put there now on long off. And Irfan has not run that ball. And the non striker reached the batting side and he gets run out. The match won by Markhor, won by eight runs. Markhor have won this tight match, a clash of the titans by eight runs. Last ball, Avengers required nine runs to win and win it, but were 
but the match was completed with a run out and Mark Hora won this game by 8 runs. So the man of the match for the match between Markhor and Avengers is Wajad Akbar with excellent bowling figures. So Wajat's figures were 4 overs, 28 runs, 3 wickets, 7 runs per over. He brought back the match for Mark Hoare, well on course for Avengers to be, win the match. Wajat, you uh, have no batting in both games, but in this match, you had a match Avengers with Avengers. और आपने वापस एकदम बढ़िया ओवर्स किए चार ओवर 28 रन तीन विकेट और सेवन रन्स पर ओवर जबकि बाकी लोग 10 रन्स पर ओवर पे चला रहे थे आपका बिस्मिल्लाह बैटिंग का जो आप बोल रहे हैं कि एक्चुअली इसी टूर्नामेंट में मैं स्ट्रगल कर रहा हूं <laughs> आज भी एक दो मैच खेले हैं उसमें अच्छी परफॉर्मेंस हुई है पर इधर अभी कंडीशन हो रहा है न्यू ग्राउंड्स एंड न्यू पिचेस हैं सो इंशाल्लाह नेक्स्ट फ्यू मैचेस में आप देखेंगे कमबैक करेंगे स्ट्रांगली और बॉलिंग वो टीम प्लान था अकॉर्डिंगली हम लोगों ने उधर बॉल किए और अल्हम्दुलिल्लाह फील्डिंग वालों ने भी हमको एफर्ट किया उन्होंने कैच किए तो अल्हम्दुलिल्लाह वही बात कर रहा था यानी पहले भी मेरे टूर्नामेंट्स में खेले आप एमसीसी में और दो मेन पिलर्स जो है आपके साइड के आप हो और वासिफ हो और इस बार आपने बैटिंग में नहीं की लेकिन बॉलिंग में जरूर तगड़ा है और वो कैच जो फवाद जलील का यहां पे लिए हलवा सा कैच छोड़ दी पिछले मैच में लेकिन यहां पे एकदम का जो नवजोत सिंह सिद्धू बोलते हैं एरोस्टस को टच करके आए हैं वो टाइप के जो शॉट मारे थे वो कैच लिए लिए आपने वो कैचेस जो लास्ट मैच का बात कर रहे हैं वो उस वक्त मैच ऑलरेडी हमारे हैंड में था तो इसलिए इजी ले लिया बट ये इधर इस कंडीशन में अगर कैच छूट जाता तो टीम वाले मेरे साथ भी होते <laughs> <laughs> तो इसलिए अल्हम्दुलिल्लाह सारा कुछ कैच हो गए बॉलिंग भी अच्छी होगी बस आज डे था तो अल्हम्दुलिल्लाह अच्छा परफॉर्मेंस हो गया टू विंस इन टू मैचेस एक्सेलेंट परफॉर्मेंस जारी जारी रहे आपका पारी चलो